na 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 TK. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? I just watched the Tim Burton Batman. Oh my god, I love this movie, man. <laughs> you got Mr. Mom, Batman, and he just comes in there just fighting crime, you know? Like, like he just decides one day, he's like, man, I'm super, super rich, but I'm totally bored. And like, my parents got killed, so I'm gonna go like watch people like in the same alley, right? So like, it starts out and like, you think it's like, you know, the origin of Batman freaking again, right? Like we've only seen it 5 million times. But it's, and you're like, what? Why is Thomas Wayne such a dick right now? But the truth is, man, it ends up not being Thomas Wayne. Batman was just watching a family get freaking mugged. And then, and then he just kinda, you know, kinda knocks the guys around a little bit. But like, your job would have been, you know, stop that crime. Batman, don't just watch it happen and then punish the criminals. Okay, you stop crime. That's what a hero does. Okay, get your shit together, Batman. <laughs> anyway, man, one of the, like like the, one of the opening scenes is so awesome when he's like pulling that guy in and he's like, "What are you?" I'm Batman. It's just that was just it just gave me chills watching that scene, man. You know, it just like changed my whole persona on movies and crime fighting. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Batman is just so good at it. Man, one of the biggest things you notice about Batman right off the bat is Batman hates crackheads. All right. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> okay, so you got Jack Torrance, and he is freaking just lost his brain cells. Okay, and he's hanging out with Bob, the character that got an action figure. Because he's Jack Nicholson's friend. So, <laughs> like, how cool would it be to be Jack Nicholson's friend? Like, it, I mean, like, sometimes, you know? <laughs> this movie has such a good bad guy. And, like, every once in a while, you feel like the performance of, of Jack Torrance Joker, you know? Nicholson's Joker gets overshadowed a lot by, you know people's perception of the Heath Ledger one, you know, which is obviously, you know, or, you know, the absolute Academy Award winning performance of Joaquin, or, you know, the, the understanding of a strange representation by the Leto Joker, you know, like, like if it ends up being three different Batmans and he ends up being, you know, a tortured Robin that becomes the Joker, that would be so awesome or whatever man because this whole idea of different you know of different genres and different multiverse and you take the same character and like you run it through Wes Anderson you take the same character you run it through James Cameron god forbid <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you run it through them and you would have it in their style you know what I'm saying like <laughs> run Batman through Michael Bay Run back, you know, Kevin Smith has already had so many iterations of it, man, that he just sort of envelops it inside himself. You know, Tarantino Batman would be a sick ass Batman. You know, I absolutely love, love from Twilight Batman, you know, like he, he for some reason just to me envelops this sort of He's like lost in his in his mind, you know? Like he, he he understands the right direction, just not which path to go down. And he's unsure of himself in his confidence. It's like an acting that comes through his eyes, you know? He's just so good. And people overlook Pattinson's performances sometimes based on like his real world, real life existence, you know, like through the whole Twilight, what have you. You know, and the Kristen Stewart breakup and freaking Trump freaking tweeting about him. Like, I don't think people even really sit down to think, well, wait a second, man. Yeah, this guy goes, he's got this awesome life. But if you look at Pattinson closely, man, he makes sense as a Batman. Like, yeah, oh, he's not American, but Batman, who, you know, Batman lives in Gotham or whatever. I think it's Chicago. But, Man, Obama Batman would be awesome. <laughs>
like, I really love the animated series, you know? It's just so beautifully done. And, it, it, like, I would get home in the afternoons, you know? And, it, like, it might have been a warm day or something, but you, like, close all the blinds and you put on Batman the Animated Series and you just zone out on the couch. Like, you know you're in good hands because the story is there and you got these, you, you know, like... Fritz Langian-esque Art Deco style of the animation like Batman's voice just rumbles through you you know it's just it's just kind of a beautiful a beautiful take on a comic book in motion you know and a storyline while dark in its origins is still a light-hearted comic book you know you, you're allowed to have fun with Batman you know like everybody gets so mad about like the Schumacher one because it's like it's all bright colorful campy and corny but that's the idea man it's a comic book sometimes you need to be all dark and brooding you know get your freaking get your Jon Snow on or something you know brood over a mountain and I don't know make out with your aunt or you can seriously just get your life together and enjoy Batman for what it is it's a comic book but it's a comic book about a dark story. So you take your own journey into it. If I'm feeling all moody and morose that day, I jump into a darker version, maybe the Nolan Batman. <laughs> I know you don't watch the Nolan Batman one. I, I get it, man, I get it. Like, like I understand why you can't watch it so I can watch it and tell you all about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, man, so like, in a lot of ways, the way you were traumatized by the theater shooting, Batman was traumatized and took that to a new level of PTSD. You know, like a level of PTSD where you, you dress up as a bat and you go out there and fight crime, you know? And th that's like the face we put out to the world, man. Like. I'm Batman, here you are, right? I'm dark, you don't know that much about me. You're like, where do you get your funding? And who we are inside is, you know, we're all just that scared little kid inside. And we don't want there to be, you know, violence and pain and destruction. We wanna stop all that from happening. And the only way we can figure that out is to become a detective of our own lives, you know? Find the clues that lead you to what makes you happy. Is it love? Is it money? What is it, man? I mean, the problem with all of these dark personas that we take on is we tend to forget that on the other side is that bright, beautiful person that we are. Even though we're unsure of ourselves, even though we don't know where we're headed or where we're from or what we're doing, the outside world doesn't even know how bright and beautiful you are inside. Just like Batman, you know? We could all be Batman in our own way. Bunny, okay? The metachlorians you need to be Batman is a big old pile of metachlorian money. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, listen, I love you. Have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to call your mom. All right, happy spring. I need to order flowers and I need to have them delivered. Please send them to Selena Kyle. Okay, what would you like on the card? Put to Selena Kyle. Dear Selena, common spelling. Okay. Dear Selena Kyle, I'm Batman. And who do I say it's from? From Batman. Um, just put Batman. Batman. Dear Selena Kyle, I'm Batman. From Batman. From Batman. On second thought, just put Vengeance. Dude, I gotta put a real name. Oh, put from Bruce. I'm Batman. From Bruce. What's the account name under? The name is under Bruce, um, my friend's account. 
He's under Bruce Wayne, close friend of mine. Yes, Bruce is a friend of mine. Put it on my account. Oh, Bruce Wayne, he's a really good account of mine. Let me just call him and verify. Hey. Do you have the backhoe keys? What well, makes you think I have the backhoe keys? <laughs> well, there's this note here. It says, Bat Nate, if you ever want to see the backhoe alive again, come get the key, Joker. Okay. Yeah. So what makes you think I wrote that note? You're the only one who does shit like this, and you're just like the Joker, man. That's fair. If you want to talk to the Joker, I guess you're gonna have to be Batnate. Diabolical motherfucker. Where are the keys? Through your teeth. Hey, Jesus, all right. They're in my coat pocket. I forgot them. Jesus, taking the Batnate. Getting pretty excited about the Oscars. Kinda hope Joaquin wins.